Hey, what's up guys? So today we have a new custom ROM for our Redmi Note 8 and this time we have Mist OS. I haven't tried Mist OS before actually. This is first time I'm using it and this is unofficial version of Mist OS and it's kind of really good ROM. So although it is unofficial ROM but it's pretty amazing that it it's pretty stable and works flawlessly and it is pretty similar to the last ROM I have reviewed that was also pretty new ROM something OS and in terms of performance and everything it is pretty similar to that so the ROM is booted up let's check what we are getting first of all let's unlock the device and we'll check what we are getting with this device and setting about phone and it is running on Android 14 as you can see here we go Android version so Mist OS and the version we are using here is 2.9.1 and this is a GFS build and unofficial ROM. The CPU patch level is 5th of September 2024. So this is a new build and I have been using this ROM for a week now. And the UI is a little different, the setting UI as you can see here. And going back, so here are the ROM and in terms of customization it got a lot of customization actually so if you go to mystify so there are theme rom status bar and everything and also if you go to miscellaneous if i go to spoofing so we are getting unlimited storage for google photos and also there are a few other tweaks available as you can see here and if you want to change anything all things are actually available other things like wallpaper and style we don't have any kind of ai wallpaper here but the built-in wallpapers are pretty good and looks good actually Going back, in terms of network and internet, everything is working perfectly fine like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and mobile data. Also I did make phone call with this ROM and it's pretty okay and there was no issue related to network. In terms of sound and vibration, it's working perfectly fine as you can see here, no issue. In terms of battery, the battery backup is excellent on this ROM actually. It's pretty much, much, much better than Evolution X or the something was I have reviewed few days ago it's much better than those ROM and we are getting all the features as you can see here we do have control over current limitation and also we can schedule and also we can limit the charging so everything is available in terms of battery backup it's amazing going back security and privacy so face unlock and fingerprint unlock both of them are available and both of them works flawlessly so fingerprint unlock works flawlessly oh, and Face unlock is a little slow but works every time. There is no delay in locking and unlocking the device if you keep it for some time. It flawless in terms of that too actually. And there is nothing much to say about the ROM actually because pretty much similar to AOSP and all the features and everything are viable. Going back, in terms of application, this ROM did come with two camera application. So MIUI camera which does work perfectly fine as you can see here and we also got another cam here it's Gcam Lite maybe and this camera works flawlessly too so Gcam also working and I did not install any Gcam here actually the built-in Gcam is working perfectly fine. In terms of other application we do have few other applications as you can see here and I did install Gemini but uh, there is no circle to search or any other feature like we got with Evolution X ROM. So that's not a viable and if I check safety net so one downside of this ROM actually is that you cannot use any kind of bank application here because safety net is failed as you can see here in terms of Google Play certification so if I go here setting about so it is also not there so this these are few issues with this device actually not major issues but if you don't have play protect certification some of the application might not work and if your device have safety net issue then you cannot use any kind of bank application so these are few issues with this rom and in terms of gaming the gaming was pretty good as you expect from Redmi Note 8 so it is pretty much similar to that and i did play call of duty here for some time and everything seems to be good and the rom is pretty decent rom actually for an unofficial rom it works flawlessly no issue with that it is a little slower than other roms but it's pretty good that there is no major issue and also the rom works flawlessly and one big advantage of this rom is actually its battery backup so battery backup is amazing on this rom so if you want to install this rom i will put the rom link in the description below and that's all about it actually there is nothing much to say 
I have reviewed this similar kind of from many many times. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.